someone is truly centered and truly happy and has, if if we now go more into attachment, that a secure attachment style, that person would not necessarily feel attracted to an anxious or avoidant attachment style. Got it. Right? Um, that's this why it's all interwoven. Everything that you also offer on Narc Abuse TV Network, it's all inter yes, interwoven. And we need to... If we want to grow out of that normal love mm -hmm. that we think experienced as normal because that was our background, if we want to grow out of that because being 30, 40, 50, 60 years old, and there's many people who come to me and say, I've been in a narcissistic relationship for 20, 30 years. But that's my I'm show. 60 I years guess. old, and I'm only waking up to the fact that it's a narcissist. But if we want to grow out of that, we need to go back, or we not back. We need to go inside, okay, and we need to heal what has been wounded in those early years, so that we start to understand what I thought was normal is not normal. Mm. And then if that's not normal, that someone withholds uh, affection, if someone stops communicating, if someone manipulates me, if that, so then what the F is normal? And how do I do that? And how do I trust? And, uh, and, and, you know, that is like a total, that's like an awakening. And that's where, in, in my eyes, that's where the journey, the real journey starts because it's an awakening yeah. to understand. What I thought was normal yeah. is the blueprint that I have received, but there's other ways, more healthy ways, more fulfilling ways mm -hmm. to relate with each other out there. And how do I learn them? That's like a whole awakening of, yeah, let's just see if, uh, from which angle we can, we, I can address that. Because they're obviously, as we just said, there's, there's, I have experienced trauma, developmental trauma before mm -hmm. that made me vulnerable to end up in a relationship like that. In most of all cases, it's like that. I mean, everyone that I spoke to up until now, that's what we could detect. Okay. So that's what we just spoke about. And. Being the target of narcissistic abuse, which is manipulation, which is gaslighting, which is coercive control, which is lies, which is, I mean, you name it, yeah. does something is in itself traumatic because while you're in the relationship, you, I'm going to say, think you love that person. You think you can trust that person you're with. Now I'm talking about an intimate relationship, but you know, the narcissist can be your boss, can your, be your parent, can be your kid. I'm talking about an intimate relationship now. And then slowly, 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 you wake up to the fact that that person you're with actually never saw you for who you are. That person you're with actually lied to you like, often big time, that person you are with cheated on you, mm -hmm. um, gaslighted you, manipulated your reality. And what happens that it over time, and I think that is something that only people can really understand who have experienced it mm -hmm. because it's so hard to grasp for people who, who haven't really I mean, worked with, with narcissism. It's so slow and it's so repetitive and it's so constant. It's 24 yeah. seven that it crumbles. It wrecks havoc on your sense of identity, on your sense of sanity. And I bet you hear that often that people go like all the time. I, I think I need to go to mental hospital. Yeah. There's something wrong with me. I, 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 you know, but that's Perfect. what happened. Famous, uh, famous therapists who are specialized in narcissism, they say they need to consciously take distance 
from that narcissistic person. They need to consciously like really step back mm -hmm. and they need, they need to make a conscious effort to go like, okay, that's that person's disorder. You know, that's where mental distinctions come in because it's so, it's like a lasso. It, it, it catches you like, and, and you are in that, in that, I, you know, in that, in that circle, in that manipulation I say game. Mess. I say mess. You're in that in mess. That mess. That's what I call it. It's a mess. Okay. And it's only hours or days later yeah. that you wake up and you go like, what? And what? because it's so subtle, it distorts our sense of self. It's, it distorts our sense of identity. It really breaks it down, which is so traumatic. And it's a, I, I, I'm sorry to say that, but I'm going to put it out there straight away. It's a lot of work. To... And that's a real bummer because, you know, leaving takes yeah. all your courage, takes all your strength. Finances. Uh, Finances, lawyers, friends, connection, lawyers, yeah. friends um, shelters. I mean, there's, there's, there's women who have like not a dollar on their account. You know, it's some people I'm talking to. It's heartbreaking. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It and then you finally made it. They finally made it. And they're going to, woof, now I can rest. 